In the world of cryptocurrencies, there are what seems like an infinite number of cryptocurrencies and coins. Every day there seems to be a new one that everyone is talking about. And all these choices create a lot of noise in trying to understand what are the main cryptos, why are they the main ones, and how can a person invest and profit from them. And if you're thinking if someone would just focus on explaining to me the main ones instead of going deep in the rabbit hole with all these new coins, that would help me understand the fundamentals of the main cryptocurrencies. So in today's video, we'll discuss the differences between the six main cryptocurrencies, their advantages over all the other cryptocurrencies out there, and why you should only care about these long term if you're serious about cryptocurrencies. The crypto boom has expanded immensely over the last few years. As per Statista, there are more than 6,000 cryptocurrencies in existence right now. <laughs> Ridiculous, right? And as time goes on, that number is only going to increase as everyone tries to make a quick buck. With so many out there, only a few currencies stand out as ones you should know, and today we cut through the noise to discuss the differences amongst these six main cryptocurrencies. Before we begin, make sure to like this video and subscribe and turn notifications on to be notified whenever a new video comes out to receive all the latest financial tips that we have to offer. If you know someone who would benefit from this video, please share it with them. With that being said, let us now discuss these six main cryptocurrencies and the one which is most likely going to be adopted and offers the most security to investors. Bitcoin holds the title of being the first cryptocurrency ever to exist. Bitcoin is the brand face of what cryptocurrency exactly is. Satoshi Nakamoto created it in 2009, originally described as the need for an electronic payment system based on cryptographic proof instead of trust. Even though the currency was introduced in 2009, it didn't take off until 2013. In October 2013, it was priced at $196 for a single Bitcoin. As the years passed on, Bitcoin kept on growing and it managed to hit an all-time high this year. Bitcoin is a kind of currency that has a limited supply. Only 21 million Bitcoins can be mined. Once that number is reached, the supply for Bitcoins will be exhausted. Every Bitcoin transaction made exists on a digitized public ledger, which is known as a blockchain. This makes transactions hard to reverse and difficult to fake. The best thing about Bitcoin is that it is not regulated by any centralized institution such as banks or even the government. Having a limited supply, Bitcoin is only going to increase in price as the years roll by. To summarize, the pros of Bitcoins are, the user has complete autonomy, Bitcoin transactions do not incur banking fees, Bitcoin has low transaction fees for international payments. Whereas, speaking of the cons of Bitcoin, we have black market activity is likely, it has high volatility and potential for huge losses, Bitcoin is unregulated and unbacked. The second most important cryptocurrency on our list is Ethereum. Ethereum was launched in 2015 and is similar to Ethereum in that Ethereum also works using a blockchain network. The significant difference between the two currencies is that while Bitcoin is used to track ownership of the currency, Ethereum focuses on running the programming code of any decentralized application. This makes the layout of Ethereum more efficient than that of Bitcoin. In general, Ethereum itself is not essentially a cryptocurrency, but it works as an entire network. The currency on this network is, in fact, Ether. In addition to tracking ownership of digital currency, Ethereum also focuses on running the programming code of a range of applications on a decentralized network. In summary, the benefits of Ethereum are, Ethereum is a decentralized network, Ethereum has managed to attract more businesses, Ethereum has no cap. And the disadvantages of Ethereum are, Ethereum uses a complicated programming language, it has high transaction fees, investing in Ethereum is dangerous and it may be hazardous. Created in 2015, like Ethereum, Cardano is another blockchain platform designed to be a more efficient alternative to proof-of-work networks. Cardano was founded by the co-founder of Ethereum, Charles Hoskinson, who faced several complexities while working on Ethereum. He solved the problems faced by blockchain networks and integrated his solution into what we now know as Cardano. The primary cryptocurrency for Cardano is ADA, which was launched as a token in the year 2017. With a research-based framework backing every move of Cardano, 
The Decentralized Application Development Platform, or DApp, is a cryptocurrency that people expect to do well in the coming future. Cardano's primary applications include identity management and traceability. Identity management can streamline and simplify complex processes that require the collection of data from several different sources. At the same time, traceability allows auditing of a product and will enable the elimination of a counterfeited product. This is the convenience offered by Cardano. To summarize, the pros of Cardano are Cardano is environmentally friendly, it's scalable, it's a peer-reviewed technology. And the cons of Cardano are Cardano brings a lot of competitors in the same space. It doesn't have a white paper, low demand currently. Moving on, we have Tether next, which is a blockchain-based cryptocurrency in circulation backed by an equal amount of traditional fiat currencies. These include the US dollar, the euro, the Japanese yen, and others stored in a bank account. The Tether tokens are native tokens of the Tether network, and they are under the trading symbol USDT. Every Tether coin is backed by fiat currency, which allows this cryptocurrency to be used as a medium of exchange rather than speculative investment. This is the significant difference it has over all the other cryptocurrencies. None of the other cryptocurrencies mentioned on this list are backed by fiat currency. Tether is also a substantial source of liquidity for the cryptocurrency market. To summarize, the pros of Tether are Tether has low transaction times. It is not as volatile as other cryptocurrencies. Transfer between Tether wallets involves zero fees. And the disadvantages of Tether are Tether has a lack of anonymity. There is no option to mine Tether. There is still price instability in Tether. The last name on this list of ours is Litecoin. This is one of those altcoins that has managed to stand up against Bitcoin and Ethereum. Litecoin is similar to Bitcoin, where it relies on the cryptographic integrity of the blockchain network itself. This coin was launched soon after Bitcoin in 2011, with the creators of this cryptocurrency regarding it as a light version of Bitcoin. Many features possessed by Litecoin are those of Bitcoin, such as mining to create this currency and a wallet being required to store these currencies digitally. The market cap of Litecoin is also significantly smaller than Bitcoin, amounting to $13.7 billion. To summarize, the advantages of Litecoin are Litecoin is faster than many cryptocurrencies and it has a large volume. And the disadvantages of Litecoin are Litecoin has lost its credibility over time and it is popular on the dark web which takes a toll on its reputation. Ripple is a digital asset which is built for payments. It is the native digital asset on the XRP ledger, which is an open source network free of permissions. Its transaction time is also quite impressive, being able to manage transactions in the matter of a few seconds. It can be sent directly to the receiver without the need of an intermediary, making it super convenient in sending and receiving payments. To summarize, the positives of Ripple are, Ripple has lightning fast transactions, and it has very low transaction fees. And the negatives of Ripple are, Ripple has no cap on it, and its lack of decentralization makes it risky to use. Comparing these coins to see what is safest, all of them are not as safe as fiat currency. And are these even a safe investment? However, relative to each other, ones are safer than others to invest in. As per experts, Bitcoin is the most established cryptocurrency and is also one of the safer ones right now. It is safer than smaller alternative coins. But, even with high security using the blockchain network, Bitcoin faces potential hackers on the exchanges that access the blockchain. Therefore, to keep your Bitcoin safe is to deposit it in an offline wallet which offers you maximum security for your digital currency. For best protection against online fraud, you can use cold storage hardware wallet similar to a USB drive that isn't connected to the internet. To find out which cryptocurrency is best, We've reviewed them across various factors. As you can see, Bitcoin and Ethereum provide the largest array of benefits, thus they are most likely to be adopted globally for the future of currency. The others have their own unique advantages and will still most likely be adopted, but for more niche circumstances. We can see different cryptocurrencies have different edges over others. Where Ethereum is the most secure cryptocurrency, it doesn't have that much of a financial advantage over Bitcoin but overall, it gives a good competition to Bitcoin. 
And as good as Bitcoin is, it also brings with it several limitations, and it isn't the most secure cryptocurrency out there. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on to be notified when a new video comes out so you can receive more financial tips like this. The reason these are the top cryptocurrencies currently is because they have the most popularity in the entire crypto market, have actual technology advancement backing them, and there is strong demand for them which has increased their value. If you want to start investing into cryptos, start with these six to develop a strong base portfolio and consider other cryptos with no more than 10 to 20% of your portfolio. We hope you got tons of value from this. That is all I have for today's video. Make sure to comment below on what you learned or how you plan to apply what you've learned in the video. And I will see you in the following video.